Hi, and welcome back. So the FDA has finally made a decision on the sale of NMN as a dietary supplement or as a drug. You can now be confident that NMN, a form of vitamin B3 linked to longevity and cellular health, is officially lawful for use in dietary supplements. The US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has formally responded to a citizen petition from the Natural Products Association, that's the NPA, and the Alliance for Natural Health USA, the ANH, overturning its previous restrictive stance. In a letter signed by Donald Prater, DVM, Principal Deputy Director for Human Foods, it said the FDA made it clear that it has revised its interpretation of the race to market clause. This clause once implied that if an ingredient was first investigated as a drug, it could not be later classified as a dietary supplement. The FDA stated, we now conclude that NMN is not excluded from the definition of dietary supplement. Specifically, although NMN was authorized for investigation as a new drug and substantial clinical investigations of NMN have been instituted and made public, NMN was marketed as a dietary supplement in the United States before such authorization. The FDA also acknowledged evidence showing that NMN had already been sold as a supplement in the US as early as 2017. The FDA admitted its earlier position that a supplement of food must have been lawfully marketed before a drug approval was not the best reading of the law. The FDA confirmed it will no longer evaluate whether a supplement was lawfully marketed when determining its status. What matters now is that the ingredient was marketed in the United States, regardless of whether that marketing was legal at the time. Now I'm guessing this is not the news that Metro International Biotech LLC wanted to hear. They're the company that petitioned the FDA asking them to ban NMN as a dietary supplement. They argued that the drug exclusion cause should apply. I'm guessing that now, to date, they've sunk millions into developing and testing MIB 626. That's their version of NMN. It has, to date, had three published scientific studies. Microbiotech is currently working on a novel NAD booster that they call MIB 725. Let's see if that work continues after this latest, latest ruling from the FDA. Now, it's obvious why and what Microbiotech is all about. This company that was co-founded by David Sinclair is trying to develop an NAD booster that they want to classify as a drug. And I'm guessing as a drug, it's going to be more expensive than the current NAD boosters that are on the market. But obviously, there's going to be a downside to this latest FDA ruling. With this change, I'm assuming that platforms such as Amazon will start to sell NMN again. This means that hundreds of scammers will return to that platform too. It's important to know what you're putting into your body. So please make sure you're buying NMN or any health supplement from a reputable supplier. Now, there are numerous reputable suppliers out there, but also there are lots of unscrupulous ones too. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy your supplements from, check out Renew by Sands and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do buy from one of these companies, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off anything that is on these companies' websites. So let me know what you think about this latest FDA ruling. I don't think it's going to make much difference to those of us who are buying our NMN and other supplements from reputable companies like Renew by Science and Pro Health Longevity. I do think it's going to affect microbiotech to some degree, and time will indeed tell. It will, unfortunately, also affect those people who believe the unscrupulous advertising and unbelievably low prices that will no doubt re-emerge if the likes of Amazon and eBay start letting anyone sell supplements on their platforms again. Remember, if it looks too good to be true, it most probably is.